Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy and today we'll talk about servers. Now if we talk about a server, server is a simple machine. If we talk about a computer, so server is a computer which provides you some services. So let's suppose I have a machine which provides some service. I do call a server. Example, if I have a machine which, which provides files, so that machine will be called as file server. If I have a machine and those that machine provides you printing service, it will be called as print server. Now think about this. Uh, in this world of internet, we all talk about client and server. So let's suppose you have client and you have server. Normally we have multiple clients and multiple clients get connected to multiple servers. But in this case, let's suppose you have one server and one client. If this client requests something from this server and server gives the response, it means this machine will be called as server. So a computer which provides you services, it's called as server. So let's suppose you have request and you get response. The so server is something which takes request and gives you response depending upon the request. Example, if this machine provides you files, or this machine provides you files, that means a client will request for a file and this machine will provide the file to the client. That means this machine becomes a file server. Okay, that easy. Now let's suppose in to talk about uh, internet, we all know this uh, amazing protocol called as HTTP and we have amazing world called as web servers. So let's suppose if we talk about internet, it all works with websites. Now we don't create websites, we create web pages. So if we talk about a single page, that is called as web page, right? If you have the combination of multiple pages. Okay, so that combination or logical grouping of web pages will be called as website. So we, we don't create website, we create web pages and we group them to form a website. Right? And let's suppose a server which has multiple web pages. So this machine will provide you web pages. That's why this server will be called as web server. So a machine which provides you web pages will be called as web server, right? So any machine or any computer which provides you some services will be called as though that machine server. So file services, file server, web services, web server, print services, print server. So this is what when you talk about server. So a client requests to a server and server gives you a response. Okay, now let's let's suppose one server has multiple services. So let's suppose we have this amazing server, big server, big server. So if we talk about this server, in this let's suppose it also provides files, it also provides web pages, it also provides you, uh, let's suppose. Yeah, print service, right? We have multiple service. We, we also have telnet service. So we have multiple service. We have page service. We have uh, page service, file service, print service. We have multiple service. So one server is working with multiple service. That means a hardware. If you talk about servers, they are huge hardwares. So if you talk about a hardware in which you have, you'll be having some OS. So let's suppose you have Windows 7. So one server with Windows 7, if that server will have a software called as file server software, that machine becomes a file server. If a computer has web server software, that machine will be called as web server. If that machine has print server software, that machine will be called as print server. So let's suppose if I have a computer with all these servers, I have file server installed, I have web server installed, I have print server installed, right? Now if a client requests for a web page, it means in this you have something called as web server, which will give you the response. But the question arises, 
how the client will dis uh, differentiate between multiple services and that's why we have something called as port numbers so every service have their own port numbers and they have their own protocols so if we talk about web pages this follow a protocol called as http file service it provides ftp so for different different service for we have different different servers different different servers has different different softwares different software provides different protocols and every protocol have their own port numbers okay so that's that's all about servers so if you have any doubts comment me and please subscribe for further videos thank you so much